Hi there and welcome back friends of a thoughtful gaming experience. This is your host oh, Emmanuel Ken and we're back to the Masters of Magic. With a V8 expert run where we're trying to just with casters and a ranger that is also skilled as a caster we try to beat the game. So far we have killed Gregor now. I'd say it's it's a pretty good thing, level 4 or 5 on Expert. That's not even that bad. <laughs> and we can safely continue now, I think. So, uh, let's rest. Want to rest up quite often at the start until we have... Uh, we have Trinton as a, as a potential replenishment here. So... Still want all buffs going, Biscuits. because they always help. Chanted Blade not so much, but still I'm buffing it, you never know. Yes. And you'll need one strange hit, and then it will help much. All set. The other, the other, for the other stuff, we're trying to just not get the spell picks, except for these very vital buffs. Practicing a bit of the spells here with a shift, shift L, shift M. There we go. Yeah, if you, if your keyboard not work, does not work in, in Wizardry 8 ever, just press an, press the Alt key and then it will work again. <laughs> That's what happened to me. Here. And I had to tab out to activate the recording, and then always. The keyboard of Wizardry 8 deactivates. Ah, <laughs> so. This will be a beautiful battle. Ah, and we're already getting challenged again with wolf spiders. Now, wolf spiders are nice opponents. They are nice to you. Why are they nice to you? Because they have so few hit points. And they give so much XP. It's it's really 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 great. So. Uh, that's what we're gonna do here. Trying to kill them as quickly as possible. But with level 1 spells, as I understood Klaus Niemand the way that level 1 spells are enough to level up um, your spells quickly. So we're going to do that. With a ranger, she has heal wounds as at the start. And I forgot, totally forgot. To activate the acid splash of Scrub Wave now. But we'll be good. Anyways. And there they are. They're probably webbing us all. No. We're lucky. So, uh, one L, two L. Ah, no. We don't want to bless again, right? We want something something else. We want just some Aye. mindless paralysis. Now he can go for the frost and the psionic for the mind stab and we want to go for the acid splash. So there we go. And as you see it's it's really sufficient. We <laughs> even paralyzed the spider, come on. Now that that has to say something, right? Taken care of. And there we go. Now deactivating opponents and uh, killing them quickly is our way of crowd controlling. Defensive buffs won't work that much. Oh man, our bishop is insane. <laughs> God. <laughs> Which means he won't do what we say, so we're not caring to give him something to do anyways. Yeah, the bishop is a bit um, on the hard side. Much better. The start as he's lagging behind in uh, his spell schools, but it will be better in time. Ah, my 
once have been rewarded. Beware, my power grows stronger. Cetrius and uh, Asimov gaining still, and you see Nebdar's divinity is going up, and water magic, and we're just casting the level one. So it's all good. So for the caster builds, as usual, we're raising intelligence and speed first, after that piety, and then I'm still split between vitality and senses. Senses gives you even more initiative. And vitality, well, it helps you survive <laughs> via hit points, right? So, um, mm, as long as we're good with our damage, I'm not gonna take another spell pick. It's just as easy as that, so... It's also our communicator. And I think we should uh, split up our... Spell school stuff here. For the different elements. Always, always uh, put your, your spell school up and then the elements are not that important. For spell selection. You can practice that too, much easier than the than the schools. So go for that. And now here, ah, oh, we we have such a selection, but we really want to wait until we get to Arnica. and uh, can buy some books because we we cannot use much of the equipment we find so. We hopefully have much money here uh, to sell. Uh, ah, and I want to. Yes. For the after combat healing, I want Flara. There it is. And now for this. The alert. Something be making me right dead nervous. There's a lot hidden in, in these uh, these sarcophaguses, sarcophagi. And somewhere I, I just forgot where there is a trap in it. It's nothing, nothing bad. Just giving you nausea. I think it was this. Maybe it was this. So let's check it out. <laughs> yeah, there's this undead head. But it's really not a problem when you have a bishop who can turn undead. And um, undead are vulnerable to fire too. The priest can also turn undead, as we see here. And as it's splashing a bit too. With pleasure. Mind stabbing, and I'm really taking him seriously because this undead head is a good caster, so you respect that. But um, commanding him back to the grave, ah, uh, none gains a level as well. I think I'm improving. Very, very good. He's becoming more intelligent and speedy. Two other attributes that are quite good. So, um, we're saving his spell picks as much as we can. There we go. And if we have this nausea Radio coming. It's not a problem because you can heal yourself to full in this bazaar. Yeah. So I somehow remembered right, and this bazaar will just heal you if you pray here at this woman. Now, the, our priest is in front, so he deserves these leather robes. Anyone has cloth pants? No. Put that out of here. You have the chamois gloves. 
which are also fitting for the priest. And you see that we're really gaining equipment. Now, hmm. Who is in the front as well? Oh, no one. Right, let's let's give just Gath Cathrius that cap. At least he has something on his head then, right? Except the hair, of course. There's the cloth pants that are useless for for these guys mostly. Also, do we have a shield? We can also again sort everything. It's very handy. You should do it often. I didn't do it much before, but it really helps. Not scamming, uh, sorting, and whatever doing through your inventory all the time. We're healed. This is a one-time use, just that so you know. We could also really rest, and I think this was a safe place here. At least near the statue, so let's run here. Rest up. First part of this run will be much resting, because, yeah. We're pretty much very, very, very helpless without our spells. Whereas, if you're playing normally, you have just yes. like two guys using their spells, but only when yes. absolutely needed. And otherwise, just trying to use their, um, their normal weapons. Just to save the mana and to continue quickly. Note that magic screen is not only against magic per se, but also against monsters effects. You so it really helps much with that. But if you have a slime giving you nausea, magic screen will help you against that. Or I think that's how it works. <laughs> You can never be sure. With with all the veterans out there, they know better. That's what you have to respect. I am like I'm a little bit of a veteran, but not a real veteran of the game. Like I came to the game about 2004, 2005, when it was like out for some years already, and I didn't play it that much then. Like only like two or three years later, I just discovered it. Though we may forget in times of strife, death is the doorway to a new life. Means like you should click on the skull, then this thing opens, and you get the safe key. <laughs> and why is that the doorway to a new life? You'll see. You'll see. And also note, don't stand here when you activate it, because this thing will open, you'll fall down. <laughs> <laughs> when it opens, not when it closes. Uh, just does it just does seem to work if you stand on it, weirdly. But trust me, it will happen. It's also a short shortcut for later if you like want to go back, or if you accidentally um, went up here and want to go back down, you may survive it. <laughs> But you can also pass Gregor just um, just by running past him. So that is also one, a possibility. But if you're beating Gregor, then you'll have absolutely no problem in the next uh, instance of Look, it's of the monastery in the next Dragon level, so to say. Fight. Might learn something. So it's it's a great test. It's also one of the toughest fights in game, I think. For its level, at least. So, what are we going for? Well, I'm just taking the glass. I'm not getting distracted. <laughs> we have that thing now, so we're using it. I really shouldn't have taken it, now that I think about it, but... Doing it like that, it, it's, it's useful. We don't yet know their, um, their resistances, otherwise we would adapt our spell. But they're not 
really good against our spells anyway, so we're just trumping them here, I think. You see, almost every spider gets irritated, which yeah makes them hit less good. Didn't work for that one. Right. Of course, the webbings, now they are based on strength, so... Yeah, you get webbed when you don't have enough strength and when you're hit. And when you don't uh, meet the resistance. Right then. So, but you can get free by wriggling from your strength and uh, that is not gonna happen. <laughs> With these guys, we're all not that strong. So we need to kill these guys quickly. Also we want to practice our spells, of course. And we'll totally use our paralyzes and stuff just to practice. Uh, let's go to the frosts now and shrill sound is good. Yeah, let's go for another blinding flash. So that we have one in reserve and the other one is just to practice. I feel much better. I we're going for the energy blasts for the mage. Let's just let him cast the last spell. Psionic needs to go for Mind Stab, the Alchemist. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's let's practice the itching skin a bit more, if we can. That is. <laughs> this worked out pretty nicely, and you see that spiders are giving a really good bang for their damage, bang in XP and. Quite good skill ups as well. Now this opens the door I feel to the so next level restored. of the monastery. So open that up, but there's still something to do here. Some stuff to explore. Some people to meet.